We're gonna do our first cap orders on the Recoma 1501 TC, and we're going to break up with the company that we've been outsourcing to. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome back, if you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. We recently got a Recoma embroidery machine. We do have a promo code for this machine and it's a great way to get into embroidery. We'll be sure to leave a link down in the description. What it will do is kick a little bit of a commission our way and we can continue to grow the embroidery side of our business. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Well, today is the last day that we will be outsourcing our embroidery. Actually, I think there's just been some miscommunication. However, we have some orders that we just need to get out. Having to say goodbye to ASG, American Screen Graphics. They've been nothing but great to us and have done a great job. It's time for us to bring everything in house. I've got all of our orders that were at ASG and I'm gonna head to get a few supplies from GSG and we're gonna get after this and it's a learning experience but I'm ready for it. I'm excited about it. Bye American Screen Graphics. I've loved our business relationship and just to be clear it was a very friendly I wouldn't even really call it a departure because we can always count on them to and other businesses to, to help us kind of pick up some of the slack. So Let's go pick up our supplies, get back to the shop, we'll get things all situated, and we'll start doing some embroidery. November and it's 84 outside. Ugh, sweaty. So here's how our caps should have looked, but they did embroider some of them, and this is absolutely wrong. These are fine. So we gotta order new caps for these. However, we got some others we can do. We're gonna get after that. And then Shannon, the shop gnome. There's Michelle. Mm -hmm. And Apollo covering up the, the hole in my pants. But see what they'll do about replacing the caps. And then I'm going to get after those down there. Beep, beep, beep. We're running off our first job. I think we might have the hang of this. We got it going at a nice, comfortable pace. Michelle's learning a, a little bit since she's here. Everything's looking so far so good. The machine is just going at it. Dad caps are really a pain in the butt to hoop up. But we're getting it. To job number two. The machine is doing its thing. We got some more dad caps that we're doing, and everything is looking pretty excellent. Just gonna push on, finish these caps. We working after hours just to kind of catch up with everything. Everybody's gone home. We printed a pretty good size order today. However, I'm just pretty stoked about this thing and pretty easy machine to run. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. We'll get these orders all caught up. So that way we don't look as bad, hopefully, as we have been because we've been so behind. On the embroidery, that is. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I think one of the things we do need to get is a laser alignment. But I will show you a little bit of a trick to kind of Get this about as centered as you can. I mean, this is a pretty straight up and down design. 
And with these dad caps, as flexible as they are, they're a little bit of a pain in the butt to hoop. Well, I forgot my last hat done for the night. Ooh, it is muggy out today, but we've been very productive. There's the last cap there. Well, it is the next day and we're going to just jump right into it. <laughs> well, we got the caps all finished up. And this was a pretty good size order for a single head machine, but we knocked it out. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. It's not to say that we didn't make some mistakes along the way because uh, we definitely didn't. Well, let me show you some of the things that I kind of learned along the way as we did make some of these mistakes. As with anything new, you're gonna I'm gonna make some mistakes, but let me just show you what we're dealing with here. Even though this looks like it's a good cap, we really just kind of use this as a test after, I don't know how many needles we broke on this particular cap. Some of these five panel caps just, man, it had, let's just say the, the needles sometimes have a hard time just punching through these six panel caps because that's a lot of material for that needle just to, to punch right through. Generally, once it starts punching through and it's doing fine, I'd say for the most part, out of all these caps that we did, here's the, the handful of caps that uh, we had issues with. And so we just had to, to reorder those and redo things, which isn't a big deal. And then what caps we did mess up, you know, allowed us to do a little bit of a test alignment. That's something that uh, we're still kind of working on. You know, the, the way these turned out, the alignment is exactly where we wanted, but just kind of initially dialing it in spacing wise, being that these are some of the first caps we have ever embroidered, we eventually got it dialed in. I think the, the hoop on this one came loose. I didn't have it quite tight enough. So that was something we boogered up. This is a, another cap where it just didn't want to punch through. Uh, same thing here, just punching through the, the center of it. You can kind of see here and then we just started using this cap to just kind of line things up and then some of them just because of how the design is it wanted to sit down right inside of this seam here of the panel so i mean sometimes the letters would just this is why we're getting things situated with this particular design here it's got a lot of tiny text down at the bottom and so it was a matter of figuring out where exactly was best at the places so the, the c or the t on construction didn't sink down into the sink down into the cab sorry it's been a long day some of the other things that we have learned along the way is once we have the design set on the machine all we really need to do is just align the cap to the center line here which seems like a no-brainer uh, however, you know, when you do go to tighten the caps down, they do tend to twist a little bit. But we've kind of figured out some ways to get them dead on every single time. We did end up putting a mark here. and we, I mounted this up on a piece of wood so that way it's nice and sturdy. We're not having to lean over there. Someone could be hooping while I'm loading over here or, or doing whatever it is I need to do with the machine. We were able to just kind of let the machine do its thing, hoop a cap, walk away, do our thing on the, the automatic or, or the manual press here. But this far, I am glad that we did decide to get the machine. We're not gonna take on the world with the, a single color. I know there's a lot of you that are like, why didn't we get more than one head? Well, we wanted to test the waters, make sure it's something we wanna bring in house and then scale up from there. I've never been the kind of person that's just, I'm gonna buy the, the biggest thing and then, you know, 
turns out it's just something I'm not going to be happy with doing ourselves. But I think everybody's just kind of enjoyed learning this bringing embroidery in the house and it's been pretty awesome. We look forward to growing that part of our business. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Keep in mind that we do have a promo code. It'll save you some money. Until next time, we'll see you later.